Hey, everybody. I want to announce the launch of a new podcast called Forbidden Science. In this podcast, we will be discussing new developments in science, old, suppressed, subordinated kinds of science, and uh, all forms of human science that have particular application to human thriving that we may not necessarily have heard about either through uh, reasons of neglect or due to politicization and suppression. I have a PhD in cell and molecular biology, a master's in immunology, a bachelor's degree in medical anthropology, bachelor's degree in neurobiology, two or three courses away from a philosophy degree, almost chose to pursue a career as a classicist in a uh, heavily ancient uh, philosophy department at, at the, the University of Pennsylvania at one point, and I uh, d decided to go to medical school. Went to medical school for two and a half years, uh, spoke out about COVID, and was piled on by uh, numerous complaints, uh, most of them extremely vague and, and hard to contest about uh, how I was unprofessional and kicked out of medical school because I spoke the truth about COVID. And so in a similar sense, in a similar way, I'm going to talk about the world of science in um, along a whole bunch of other topics that are controversial, that are edgy, that are new, that are interesting, and that require somebody from my background to properly address. I actually spent during my PhD, much of the time as my free time, uh, I spent debunking health misinformation. So I know very well how to see through nonsense. It just so happens that there's a great deal of nonsense, both on, say, Instagram, but also coming from our official public health institutions as well. And so we'll be sorting through all of that in a rigorous evidence-based manner. I'm a evidence-based medicine zealot. I, I strongly believe in uh, the tenets, the core tenets of evidence-based medicine, uh, which demands a very high premium on high quality evidence, high quality experimental evidence to come to conclusions and, uh, and has a low regard for weaker quality of evidence. And the reason for that is, is that you need high quality evidence to justify health interventions. And so I'll take a uh, very evidence-based and rigorous perspective towards these uh, different topics. And I'll tend to be more critical rather than uh, more hypey. Although I will also be excited and recognizing about the potential of new and emerging forms of thinking and their implications for our lives. And so I want to uh, welcome everybody aboard and uh, welcome everybody along for the ride that is about to come.